he's, he's not actually on the tour anymore, but Mark Webster is, you know, great value. Um, all the little one-liners and things like that, he was... <laughs> yeah, I think he had everyone laughing, so I'd, I'd probably say Mark Webster. Who's funny? A lot, a lot of are funny. Uh, I, sp I spend a lot of time with, with Johnny Clayton, he tries to, you know, give me a bit. Um, I've been teasing him about him putting, you know, putting a bit of weight on last year when he won the uh, the Masters and obviously 60 weeks in the Premier League. So with me getting picked this year, is he said, you know, don't, the uh, the old Derby will be coming on this year. Um, does it have to be a player? It, could be, it is somebody on tour, but it has to be a player. Um, it's really tough. How long have we got? Because uh, I was, I was going to say Paul Nicholson. Paul Nicholson is really, you know, prim and proper. Um, I'd probably say uh, Devon. I'd probably say Devon. Devon, you know, takes a lot of, lot of time to get ready and a bit of pride in his appearance. Uh, worst rate, this is going to be tough because there's a lot of questions that are going to be, have the same answers, but um, probably Johnny Clayton. He's. Um, all the money he's won over the last few years, he uh, still loves a 399 special from Sports Direct. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people say Merv King, but I think he's, I think he's torn it down a little bit. Um, there's not that many, there's not many mourners. Probably Gezi. Gezi likes a moan now and again, especially if it's about a crowd. <laughs> Adam Hunt, Adam Hunt, he, uh, he can play piano and things like that. He, you know, really well as well. So if you can do that, and he must be pretty intelligent, I suppose. Uh, Michael Smith, probably. He's, um, uh, he's, he's a few, few tools short, and he's, uh, he's a cracking lad. But he's, yeah, he's as thick as they come. He's, um, I think we nicknamed him Custard. He's that thick. <laughs> Um, I quite fancy himself a little bit actually. Um, sung a few times on the karaoke with the boys away, but probably have to say Nathan Aspinall. We, uh, we went to karaoke bar in Budapest last year, um, and he was bang up for it. Um, his song choice was he sung La Bamba, but he knew every single every single you know Spanish word in it, and he was he, yeah, it was good value. He absolutely loved it as well, and I think he I think he thinks he's the best singer as well. Um, I'd probably say Devon, he's, he's big into the motivational videos and the motivational speakers and all these quotes and things like that and I think every time you look on Instagram he's put a different story up of some, you know, basketball player saying this is what you need to do and I, I, <laughs> I was actually speaking to him about it last week and said if, if he carries on I might have to block him.